Hi, this is Skyler with Hot Spring Spas. Uh, I'm here today to, to show you a little bit about our hot spot series, controls, um, things to look for, just a general orientation on this line of hot tubs and, and what you should do to make sure they're staying clean and clear. So this is the control head for our hot spot series hot tubs. Um, pretty simple controls. Uh, you can see right on the, the screen itself, um, it's telling me that it's ready to go. Um, and I've got my 101 degree temperature right now. Um, this blinking down here is just a function of the, the filtration. Uh, we'll get into that later. A um, couple of the buttons right on this side on the right hand side of the uh, screen here. Um, jet's pretty self-explanatory. Push it once, um, it's going to kick jet pump one on low. Push it twice, it's going to kick jet pump one on high, and if I push it three times, I'm going to get jet pump three on high uh, as well. Excuse me, jet pump two on high as well. Now I can also push it a fourth time and just have jet pump two on. Um, if I push it a fifth time, that's when it's going to turn everything off, um, bring me back to still water. Um, lights, pretty self-explanatory. They're just on a dimmer. Um, push them once to turn them on, and then it's just one, two, three, and off again. So there's three settings as far as the dimmer and um, adjusting the brightness of the lights themselves. Um, when I go over to the left hand side here, the mode buttons are gonna scroll through my options. So tools, clean, system on, um, and then my temperature. Um, to turn them on or off, I'll use the plus uh, button to turn it on and the minus button to turn it off. Uh, so if I scroll through and say I want to go in the tools menu, I would hit the plus button. Um, first thing we're going to see is the temperature lock. The temp lock, uh, say you really like 100 degrees, don't want anyone turning that up or turning it down. Maybe you got grandkids, little ones at home um, that are going to mess with your controls. Uh, you can actually lock this by turning on the plus, and now we can see this turn to that plus sign. Uh, that's going to allow it to, to lock that 100 degree temperature or whatever your set temperature may be. Um, to, to readjust temperature after this, I just go back in uh, to that same menu, tools, hit the plus, scroll till I see the temp lock or the T lock, hit the minus, now it's back off. Um, my next um, item that I, I can scroll through here is going to be my spa lock itself. Um, spa lock is actually going to lock out all my controls. So if you lock them out, um, you won't be able to turn the jets on or off. Uh, turn the temperature up, turn the lights on, things like that. Um, next one is going to be the lighting. If I go into this setting, it's just actually a dimmer as far as how much or little I want. Um, you know, if, it, if I want a real bright light, I'll leave it at three. If I want it to be dimmer, more of a calm setting, I'll put it down to say a one. Um, and then finally, the color. Um, I can go in and just manually change what color I want. Um, or I can put it on a loop. Now if I put it on a loop, it's just slowly going to change colors from, uh, you know, blue to green to yellow to red and so on and so forth. Um, those are all of my options as far as my lights. Um, so if I go in here, I go back to the exit, I hit the plus button. Now I'm scrolling back through those options again. Uh, so we were at lights will go up one more this is the economy mode now the economy mode really is just not built for our particular uh, climate here in Minnesota North Dakota really it's built for California uh, New Mexico Arizona southern Texas places get to be 125 degrees four months a year if I turn this on it's actually that you can see this icon pop on with the moon here um, and if that's ever on, you're going to want to go in and turn that off in our climate. It's going to turn the hot tub off for six hours a day, so really what it's going to lead you to end up with is um, maybe 95 degree water instead of 100. And it's just not going to be clean and clear. You're going to have a cloudiness, maybe a little odor to the water. So we just want to make sure this is off. That minus arrow is the one that's um, indicating where it's at. Uh, we just want to make sure it looks like this no icon up top. So after the economy mode, um, like we said, we want that off, we'll go up. Now this is filter one, this is just a filter setting. If I plus press the uh, plus arrow here, 
Uh, it's gonna bring me in and I can actually say how long I want this filter um, to run or this jet pump to run a day. Um, it's gonna run twice a day. Uh, standard is an hour and a half, depending on use, uh, number of people, thing like things like that, we can adjust this number to either more or less time a day that it actually circulates. Just like filter one, uh, we have the filter two setting. Again, if I go into it, it's gonna let me adjust time. Um, so I can either do more or less time, depending on how long I want this to run. It's just a second filter setting. Um, then I just exit back out. So now I'm back into my tools menu, um, and I believe that's everything. Uh, the LCD, all that is is just, again, how bright you want this particular screen. Um, and that's everything as far as tools, so I'm gonna go down to my exit. And now I'm back to my home screen. So if I scroll again, system on, think of this as if you're getting out of the tub at the end of the night and you just wanna turn it off, it's gonna turn all of the, your jet pump off, um, your um, lights, if you have music going, it's gonna turn that off. It's gonna turn the whole system off for you. Uh, keep in mind that's not turning off um, you know, heat or anything like that. Hot tub's still on and running. It's just turning off the functions of the hot tub uh, that you may, be in, may have been enjoying throughout the night. Uh, clean feature, this is a really popular one. Um, again, to turn it on, I just hit the plus. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off while I'm talking here just so you guys can hear me. Um, but that's gonna run for 15 minutes. After that, it's gonna turn itself off. Uh, it's no different than a jet cycle except for duration. Jet cycle's gonna last two and a half hours. Clean cycle's gonna last 15 minutes. Uh, it's great for adding chemicals, things like that, when you just want to throw a little, you know, maybe throw a little chemicals in, uh, button up the tub, and know that in 15 minutes it's going to turn itself off. Um, and that's that's pretty much everything as far as our settings um, and the different options in this tub. Uh, if I actually want to adjust the temperature, I just scroll till I see this come up, uh, and if I hit the plus or minus. Um, it's going to adjust the temperature accordingly. Um, in this light, you can see when I when I go too low or too high, um, it's going to turn off when it's plus or minus two degrees of our set temperature. Uh, so th this is going to indicate whether or not it's it's ready to go. Everything's heated. Everything's looking good. A couple other features on this hot tub, guys. Uh, right down in front here, I've got a handle. This is going to control my uh, waterfall so that you can see whether or not it's running or not. Uh, and then finally, um, up top here, I've got my different comfort level valves. Uh, these are actually diverters as far as air, so I can customize the, the amount of flow of water to each one of these jet zones so that you can find the one that's perfect for you. As always, guys, if you have any questions, concerns, uh, just want to stop in and say hi, Give us a call, stop into the store. Uh, we've got a service location that's ready to help you out. Um, if anything's going on, just give us a holler, we'll get you taken care of.